This ain't, <clears throat> this ain't a review of Night Callers and also Squash Detective Radio for Sunday, September 26, 2010. Over on Night Callers, the guest was Bill Blumen. He's a researcher out of uh, the Ozarks. Um, I do believe he he is from Missouri, and uh, he has um, done quite a bit of research into the uh, Sasquatch in Missouri. He's actually found some interesting things, and um, such as footprints and and things of that nature. You know, he's he's actually had a sighting or two, and um, he actually. Um, talked quite a bit about uh, his encounters and uh, of course Bill Green got his standard question in as always um, Footers was actually the classic William Rose story which I know that we're all familiar with that's the story of the gentleman who came across a female Sasquatch in 1955 and um, was tempted to take a pot shot at it, but did not do so. But anyway, um, that was the footers segment. It was, of course, very interesting as always. <coughs> and uh, Night Callers, what I heard of it was really good. And uh, actually, next Sunday, they will not be airing a show because they're going to be in the field. But they will be back on October 10th. Sunday, October 10th, 7 Eastern, 6 Central. I imagine they're going to talk about uh, what they what they uh, experienced and the things that they found out on their uh, outing. And that will be on October 10th, www.blogtalkradio.com slash nightcallers. And over on Squatch Detective Radio, uh, Steve Coles did a four-year anniversary program which he played several clips, including some clips from myself, also from the late Eric Beckyard. Uh, there was also clips from uh, uh, John Green, Matt Billy, Henry Fahrenbach, uh, Brian Muslin, Dan Gordon, who are both former police officers who had sightings in the Whitehall, New York area in separate years, 1976, 1982, respectively. And um, I called in, and I was on the air for about oh thirty seconds, wishing Steve a happy anniversary. But he had some stuff to he had some stuff he had to get to, so referring to um, his clips and things of that nature. So he he played all the clips, and he played some really good clips. There were actually some pretty humorous clips near the end, as sort of at the late Eric Beckerwood's expense. But uh, anyway, um, it was a really great show. And I I enjoyed it. I'm not sure what Steve has planned for next Sunday. Steve and Chris, I should say. But we'll begin at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, www.blocktalkradio.com slash the Squash Detective. And um, let's see, tonight on MNBRT Radio, a fellow named Mitchell Waite, who's looked into the Magolan Monster in Arizona, that being their version of Bigfoot. And they'll begin at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash MNBRT. Um, and then um, Bigfoot Quest will be, back, will be back tomorrow night at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot underscore Quest. Not really sure what... Um, what is going to be planned for that show. Uh, and then um, Wednesday night, there will be an episode on uh, Bigfoot Truth and Lies. They're going to have uh, tick, tick a lick tack. Uh, we know him as Pete in the, uh, in the Skype chat room. He'll be on the show, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, www.blockcockradio.com slash Bigfoot Truth and Lies. And that's the that's the letter N, by the way, not not the word and. Uh, and then let's see, Destination Truth this Thursday, they'll be focusing on Iberian Snowman. They'll be at nine Eastern, eight Central on Sci. Check your local listings for time and channel. And as always, with all the Blog Talk Radio shows, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research. <laughs>